Hey YouTube, thanks for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to put a watermark on a video in Sony Vegas Pro 10. If you wanted to find out how to save your logo in Photoshop CS5 for a watermark, then you can click the Adobe Photoshop logo at the top right of this video. So here I have a project that I just created on how to do a Google search. And what we're going to do is put a watermark over this video in Sony Vegas. And we're going to place that at the top right and we're going to load the transparency. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is insert a new video track and to do that you can right click insert video track or you can use the shortcut control shift Q and then what you want to do is insert your logo and to do that I'm just going to use the explore tab in Sony Vegas and then I'm just going to drag in my logo watermark Another way that you can import your logo is by going File, Import, Media. And then you can find your logo in the Windows Explorer. So I'm just going to close out of that. And I'm going to drag my logo right out so it is the full length of the video. Now you want to make sure that your logo track is the top track so your logo doesn't get covered by uh, text or it doesn't get completely covered so what you want to do is just click and drag this to the top and then there you have it so now what we're going to do is resize the logo and to do that there are two ways and the first way is the event pan crop and the second way is the track motion window to start off I'm just going to show you the event pan crop way So I'm just going to click the event pan crop button here and then what you can do is scroll out by using your scroll wheel on your mouse and basically you can drag out your logo and make it smaller. You want to make sure that you have the uh, lock aspect ratio and the size about center pushed in. Okay so I'm just going to keep dragging this out until it gets a good size. And then I'm just going to drag this so it goes to the top right corner. Now you notice how it is getting cut off in the preview here. This is because our logo is square and our video is widescreen. So to fix that I'm just going to right click in this box here and then select match output aspect. And that is going to make it so we can position our logo anywhere. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And you'll notice if I keep dragging that it stops here. That is because that is all this uh, event pan crop is going to let you make your logo size 2. So if your logo is still too big after you've maxed it on this, then you can go to the second way to do this and that is through the track motion which we'll get onto a bit later in the tutorial. Okay so here I have it positioned here. And that is basically what you do in the event pan crop. So I'm just going to right click this and hit uh, restore, close out of this and then I want to show you how to do that in the track motion window here. Click this track motion button right here and you want to make sure that you have the lock aspect ratio and scale about center pushed in. And then what you want to do is scroll out with your mouse wheel button like we did just before. And drag your mouse to one of the corners. And you'll notice that a circle pops up around the corner. I'm just going to use the top right corner. And then what you want to do is drag it in towards the center. And that is going to make your logo smaller. So I'm just going to keep dragging this until it gets to a good size. And I'm going to leave it about that size. And then I'm just going to scroll in a bit. Okay, and now I'm going to position this so it's at the top right corner. So I'm just going to drag this and keep dragging it until it goes to the top right corner. Now you'll probably notice that when you're dragging it, it actually goes in reverse. So that's just something you need to remember when you're dragging it. Okay, so now it's at the top right corner, so I'm just going to exit out of this. And as you can see, we have our logo on our video, and it is right throughout the video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the opacity of this logo. 
so you can actually see a bit through it. And to do that, I'm just gonna get my mouse and go up towards the top of the logo on the track and drag that down. And I'm gonna drag it down to about 50% uh, opacity and release it as that. There's another way that you can do it and that is by changing the opacity of the whole track. And you can do that just by dragging this thing here more towards the center and that'll give you a 50% or if you want it lower then just keep dragging it to the left. I'm just going to drag this till it's about 50% and that is it so as you can see we have our logo right throughout the whole video. Now you'll notice when we get to the end here that our, uh, our video fades away but our logo doesn't as you can see in this shot right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click at the end of this fade here. That's going to put my current time indicator there. And then I'm just going to put a fade on my logo. Okay, so that is basically it. And thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe.